Hello friends, welcome back to CPA tutorials. Today we are discussing code forces round 818 that is deep to round. So in this video we will be discussing problem B. Uh, it is a very good problem and it is based on implementation. So I will tell you the logic and you will have to implement so that uh, you will uh, go on your own. So uh, and uh, try to solve most of the problem on your own like if it takes a lot of time still you will have to uh, try on your own try to finish then only if you have seen that i have given my 100 percent then only see the solution so that way you will learn so and that uh, and if you practice in this way then you will grow and your growth will be visible so now move, i will move to a sponsorship part so that we won't be disturbed in the in between the video so this video is sponsored by newton school which provide you uh, full stack development course this is six month course and they will uh, they have pay after placement type of business model so you will only have to pay if you get placement and they guarantee 5 to 40 lpa placement so now i will move to our problem so i hope that my screen is visible so you will be given uh, n it is given that n k r c so what is given what is n here n represents n cross n grid and n must be multiple of k right so k divides n it is written in mathematical way like this k divides n right so it is given k divides n so you will be given grid of size k let's say k n equal to 2 and k equal to 1 so you will get you will get 2 cross 2 2 cross 2 if n equal to or consider 4 and k equal to 2 then you have grid of size 4 cross 4 so n represent grid size what k represent i will tell you now so n must be multiple of k and it is given that you have to place some dot and cross right and if there are consecutive let's say either it is vertical k limit k rows sorry k cells so you must put either x here or x here any of these two positions so for every k equal to 2 position at least 1x must be present so it is given that our cell is n cross n that is grid is n cross n consists of n cross n cells and k is our in each k you will need in each k cells you will need at least x so you will have to find minimum number of you will have to uh, give a grid such that x is present minimum number of time and uh, either in k horizontal cell or a vertical cell at least one x must be present right so how many minimum number of x you will get so consider that let's say n equal to 6 so let's say this is our grid 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so in these three cells at least 1x must be present similar for this so i am looking horizontal direction right so at least here in in one of these three x must be present x must be present x must be present something like that so at least n into n cross k number of x we will require so consider something like sudoku game so consider this smaller k cross k cell k cross k grid right so let's consider k cross k grid first so let's say k is 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 p 
4 what will be the best possible way to like this is k cross k and how many uh, in this mini what i say mini grid so what will be our optimal position to place x so let's consider i place one of x here so it will cover this and this right then i will put x here this will cover this and this here this will cover this and this will cover this right so you can take any other way as well so let's say this has our x this has our x this has our x and this has our x so horizontally you can see that in k cross k grid at least k number of x is x must be present so and it is given that at position r and c i haven't discussed about r and c at r and c you must have to position x so let's consider our example first it is given that k equal to 3 so this is 3 cross 3 grid right 3 cross 3 grid and what you will have to do you will have to place one x at 3 cross 2 here so what are the next possible options so you will go in this row so either you will place here so let's say i am placing here i will place here so that this will cover this will be get covered so why why i am positioning positioning diagonally so any x let's say i am placing x here let's say i am placing x here then it will cover in this distance this distance so either this is uncovered this is uncovered so let's say i am position i have position x here so this will get covered this will get covered but again here it isn't covered so that's why i am positioning so now we'll check that either it is optimal answer or not so now let's move to six plus six grid and it is given that k equal to 3 that is example 3 i am discussing this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 so at 4 cross 2 there must be there must be a x so let's say i am considering all 3 cross 3 this is 3 cross 3 one of the 3 cross 3 that is k cross k this is one of the k cross k and rest two are these two and these two now what i will do let's say i am positioning x here then what i have told i have told that we will position it as diagonally so let's say we have positioned x here so here in the in this case we can position our x here then x here x here so this will cover all k cross k right everything is covered here then consider uh, then take any one of these as x so this is x and this is x similarly what we will have to do consider this as x this as x this as x so let's say we are taking any three cells any three cells right any three cells in any order then we are getting at least one x uh if it is circular then or not circular uh, uh, it isn't told that it is circular i think so what i am going to do like this way like this way we are going to this this way we will get our answer so what i am going to do for like easy right uh, for easy coding what i will do let's consider 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we don't want our code to be complicated so what we'll do 
let's say it is given that 4 2 so what i will do this won't cover this will cover up to this this won't cover this so let's say either it is 9 cross 9 then after 1 2 we will put it here x here right let's say we we had 9 grid then 1 2 after that we would have put x here now what we'll do we'll start going diagonally either this way or this way any of these side so let's say i'm going this way let's color it as right then what i will do i will move here move to here and move here i'm going proceeding in this way. right now what i will do this will end here so here i will get one x then it will end and we will get x here right so you will have to move diagonally right x plus one modulus in plus one in this way you will have to move so that you will get value from one to n this will give x plus one modulus n will give one zero to n minus one that's why i'm adding one so first find all the x in, in a row or in a uh, column this will be similar logic like the logic will be same and if you have get all the x in same row then just uh, what i can say expand it diagonally or extrapolate it diagonally so i hope that uh, now you will code it easily so i hope that the solution i hope that uh, now you understood the solution so now thank you for watching the video i will end the video here so you will have to implement it on your own so thank you very much for watching if you like the solution please like the video and please comment anything like uh, understood anything like that that will feel that that will give me feeling that you have appreciated me my solution as well so thank you very much once again